the mail. That's what we have right there. And we're going to unveil the box right now. Okay. Okay, right out of the box it says never say never. Because that, that can't, you know, that is a very true statement. You, your, your battery can let you down anywhere at any time, you know. And I, I found that to be true. And um, that's uh, part of why we're doing this. Um, never say never. In this envelope, though, you get your, uh, your warranty card. And your uh, manual and it this could happen to you at any time at any place and you just don't know where and when I do know this is, um, yeah this is a unit that does not come with a charger due to environmental, you know. Um, this, this, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a minute from what I'm, what I just said. It does not come with a charger, but I bet you already own a charger. All right. Because this one, um, charges with a simple uh, cell phone charger. It does not need a um, anything special. But never say never because it can happen to you. All right, here's the unit itself coming right out of the box for the first time here. All right, and it's packed very well. It's got some dense foam. I mean, it's packed well. And in the box, you receive your your jump cables and with the end that goes, and it's got a weather pack in it. It goes down into um, the charger it's, uh, or the uh, jump pack itself, and it comes with USB to USB and a USB. To, this is what you use to charge the machine, the jump pack, and this here is what you use to charge like your phone or your type C. USB to type C and type C to type C. Alright, it comes with a protective film for the screen, okay, we're going to pillage that off here right now. So you can see it a little better. I don't think we need that on there. Alright. And it, <clears throat> this one seems to have a different type of LED. Like the LED screen is different. Most of them have just a single light bulb. You know, a little one single LED. This one seems to have multiple. So let's turn it on. Holy moly, that is bright. That would light up your work area very well, okay? Now, you turn it on and it gives you that screen right there, which is different. It gives you 100% charge. Okay? So let's, uh, I got a dead vehicle out there. That's the start. I got a dead vehicle out there. Let's go test this thing out. Um, now, th this thing is good for starting uh, up to a 6.8 diesel. I do believe. Let me read the book. 
I'm pretty positive this is a you know this is a right up town unit. You shut it down, but um, let me read the specs here. What it says the wall charger and it tells you how long it'll take to charge, depending on your charger, your cell phone charger is what you use to charge it with. Okay. Um, that tells you what's in the box, the contents. All right. And then here's the specifications. And it does say that you can um, input, or well, excuse me, output um, 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts, or f um, it does multiple outputs so that this thing is smart enough to know what you plug into it with this, with the Type C cable that you, you know, go around to your port. This is the input output port. The type C right here, it's smart enough to know what you plug in to the type C to know what voltage to throw out. So it's kind of a smart unit. Most of them have uh, those little tips you got to put on and you decide what you need. This one decides what you plugged in. That's different. Okay. I was just wondering. I think I'll put it in the description because I'm not sure the book's going to say. I'm not seeing anything about. I know it'll start a. Um, said something um, I'll put that in the description but it's supposed to start a uh, quite like I think a six point something diesel that one will so we're gonna I'm not gonna use it on a diesel I'm gonna use it on my little car because it's dead but um, this is this is looks like a pretty good unit let's see if it'll start my little dead little dead Honda I mean I don't know some of them I've um, found won't start. Um, I've used them on lawnmower and they won't start them. So let's see if this one will. All right, we'll be right back. All right, folks, I left this little Honda sitting here for like ever. And, um, it's got leafage all over it. This thing's been sitting for a long time, a very long time, and it's dead in the net. So let's see if we can get it to run today. Let's put the wiper blades down, and uh, let me open it up and get the hood open. Hang on. All right, folks, just to show you, it's a dead as a net. Um, here's the key right here. And there's the dash. I'm turning the key right there. And it is, it's dead in the water, okay? Okay, for 89 Honda Accord, that's the mileage on it. That's not bad. Anyway, let's see what we got. Got nearly a full tank of gas, I see. Uh, with the gas prices, let's see if we can use uh, this car in a little bit. All right, so it's a no starty starty. Shut her down, put the key back in, leave it. All right, so let's hook that jump pack up now. Alright guys, here's the jump pack, there's the battery, uh, 
battery is still under warranty so if it is a failed battery after that we get it started I'm going to take that thing back I'll try charging it with the, the actual charger but uh, there's your connection you can only hook it up one way there's your connection right there plug it in first. It's hard to see the screen with um, the way it is, but that's the way it is. Alright, I'm going to turn the, turn the unit on. Alright, it says 100%. Hook it up. And it says start. Right there. It says start. So let's go do that. Just to be sure, I'm going to turn the headlights on. Turn the headlights on. We're going to try starting it with the headlights on. And hey, so that was started with the headlights on. Bye-bye.